Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we'll be talking about another very interesting topic that is Amphibia. Okay students, now look at this name Amphibia. Amphi students means dual and bios stands for life. So students, these are organisms which are leading a dual life as they can breathe under water as well as on land. So let us begin with the general characters of amphibians. Students, as I mentioned before, they have the ability to live on land as well as in water. That's why they are called as animals having a dual life, which suggests their name amphibia. Moving on students, they have a streamlined body with or without webbed feet for locomotion. Now students, let us first understand what is meant by streamlined. They have a body which is usually tapering towards both the ends. And do you see the feet of the frog here? Do you notice that in between the toes, there are certain yellow colored connections? Now students, this is called as webbing. And what does this webbing do? It turns their feet into paddle-like structures, which makes it very easy for the frog to swim underwater. Having said that, let us see that their body is differentiated, as you can see, into a head and trunk. And students, in some amphibians, a tail is also present, but here in the frog, the tail is absent. Moving on, students, now let us see their mode of respiration. If the amphibian is underwater, it respires using gills, skin, or the lining of the buccal cavity, also called as the buccal epithelium. But when they come on land, just like any other terrestrial animal, they breathe using their lungs. Also students, their heart is having three chambers, which means it has two upper chambers, that is the two auricles, and one single lower chamber, that is the ventricle. Okay, moving on, they are cold-blooded animals. The other word for that is poikilotherms or poikilothermic, which basically means that these animals cannot, are not able to maintain a constant body temperature and their temperature changes with the surrounding temperature of the environment. Moving on students, most amphibians, there might be a very few exceptions, but most amphibians are oviparous, meaning that they lay eggs the same way you see the frog here. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.